Good morning all. This is I am Dr. Nevin from Ultra Scan and Lab. Salam Bhatti. This is uh, basically a discussion on the nuclear translucency scan that is the NT scan. So NT scan the first protocol is first see the placenta. Always start with the placenta. So in this case the placenta is anterior. So the placenta is anterior. Once you complete the placenta then you can go to the complete evaluation of the fetal body parts. So you can see the head, this is the thorax, you can see the cardiac activity, come down to the leg and see the foot. So the whole parts of the body including the upper length has been done. Once you are done that then you can take the crown run length that is head to toe length. So that's the first one which we normally do the crown run length which is 5.7 and 12 weeks 2 days once you have done the crown length then you can go to the routine biometric protocols like the BPD HC and FL we don't do a AC here that is a UK protocol which says that uh, AC has less accuracy in the early trimesters So many of us use this uh, auto measurements nowadays, but uh, to be accurate, you can do it manually as well. So once you're done BPDHC, then you can go to the brain stem. So brain stem is one of the important part in for the fetal medicine because we can diagnose many abnormalities early. So that is the brain stem. You can zoom it up if you want. So that is the brain stem diameter. Then you can go to the F fill. So then you fill, then you can go to the main part of the scan that is the nuchal translucency. Nuchal translucency is one of the important parts here. So always you should be able to see the two separate lines and you should take it exactly in the center of the niche. So you should be zooming it as much as possible and you should be able to see the two separate lines clearly. So many of the times we try to focus it with the nasal bone. If you are able to see the nasal bone also, then it is very good. So this is the nuchal translucency. You should measure the center of the this line. So that is the nuchal translucency. The next one which we are going to focus is the nasal child is touching the nose you can see that clearly so just wait or you can just hold in it a little bit more to get the nasal bone so that is the nasal bone So once you have done that, then you can go to the cardiac activity. 